Washington has put 8,500 military personnel on heightened alert for a possible deployment to Europe and will evacuate some embassy personnel from Ukraine as tensions rise between Russia and NATO countries over Russian President Vladimir Putin's continued mobilization of troops near the Ukrainian border. VOA White House correspondent Anita Powell reports from Washington. Administration stands ready to respond alongside its NATO partners, okay. says Press Secretary Jen Psaki. While we can't get into the mind uh, of President Putin, we are seeing the preparations that they're making at the border. We have been very clear, and the president has been direct, that military action by Russia could come at any one at any time. He said that last week as well. So uh, we have been in conversations and discussions with eastern flank countries. American reactions include alerting 8,500 troops to possible deployment to other NATO countries and evacuations of some staff at the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv. U.S. President Joe Biden has not spoken on the matter in several days, ignoring questions shouted his way on Monday. Later in the day, he held a call with top European, EU and NATO leadership in which the parties emphasized their wish for a diplomatic resolution and discussed their preparations to impose massive consequences and severe economic costs on Russia for such actions, as well as to reinforce security on NATO's eastern flank. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces are readying for an invasion and questioning the diplomatic process between the U.S. and Russia. It's wrong when two countries discuss a future of another country. We also should take part in those talks. Russia watchers say Russia is trying to negotiate Ukraine's future without involving Ukraine, which hasn't been present in many of the high-level talks. But analysts don't think conflict is inevitable, partly because of the diplomatic efforts led largely by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. You know, this is still a, a, a confrontation that hasn't yet spilled over into open conflict. I think there's still the possibility to, to find an off-ramp, no matter how, how uh, distant that, that possibility might seem sometimes. The fact is, we're still talking. Blinken's Russian counterpart said last week that Moscow did not expect a breakthrough from the latest round of talks, but wanted a written response to its proposals, which included that NATO reduce some of its presence in Eastern Europe and bar Ukraine from entry to the security alliance. Some Russia analysts say Putin is playing a long game. Putin is a judo enthusiast. And in judo, um, you very rarely win, contrary to the stereotype, you very rarely win uh, by a throw. You win by the accumulation of points. There is no knockout. He hasn't won. But but look, he probed NATO, right? He tested it. And NATO showed a great deal of wobbling and disjoint, right? He, every time he does something or says something, the American president rushes to respond or call or schedule a summit. And there are so many other points that, that accumulated this way. Um, and uh, there's no doubt that